In this example, we will solve permutations where objects are always together. In part A, how many ways can three chemistry books, four math books, and five physics books be arranged if books on each subject must be kept together? In this sample set, we'll use three pink permutation tiles for chemistry books, four green permutation tiles for math books, and five blue permutation tiles for physics books. Set up yellow containers to hold each different type of book. We can arrange three chemistry books in three factorial ways. We can arrange four math books in four factorial ways. And we can arrange five physics books in five factorial ways. We set up the containers with the order chemistry, math, physics. This was arbitrary, as physics, chemistry, math is just as valid. We can order the three containers in three factorial ways. The number of unique arrangements is 5 factorial times 3 factorial times 4 factorial times 3 factorial equals 103,680. Finally, note that we can arrange all of our books with a single draw from the sample set, so this is a single case permutation. Now we'll move on to part B. How many arrangements of the word active are there if C and E must always be together? In this sample set, we'll use permutation tiles to represent each letter in active. C and E must always be together, so put them in a container. We can arrange C and E in two factorial ways. Now that we have resolved the constraint, bring forward the remaining letters. In our arrangements, we consider C and E to be one item. This is because we have the constraint that these letters must always be together. If we consider the C and E container to be one item, we can arrange five items in five factorial ways. The number of unique arrangements is 2 factorial times 5 factorial equals 240. Now we'll move on to part C. How many arrangements of the word active are there if C and E must always be together and in the order C, E? In the sample set, we'll use permutation tiles to represent each letter in active. C and E must always be together, so put them in a container. If C and E must be in the order C, E, this can only be done one way. Lock the permutation tiles since C and E can't be rearranged. Now that we have resolved the constraint, bring forward the remaining letters. If we consider the C and E container to be one item, we can arrange five items in five factorial ways. The number of unique arrangements is 1 times 5 factorial equals 120. Now we'll move on to part D. Six people, Andrew, Brenda, Corey, Danielle, Eliza, and Frank, are going to be seated in a line. How many unique lines can be formed if Corey, Danielle, and Frank must be seated together? In this sample set, we'll use permutation tiles to represent each person.
Corey, Danielle, and Frank must always be together, so put their permutation tiles in a container. We can arrange three items in three factorial ways. Now that we have resolved the constraint, bring forward the remaining letters. If we consider the CDF container to be one item, we can arrange four items in four factorial ways. The number of unique arrangements is 3 factorial times 4 factorial equals 144.